Want to celebrate no L with no hangover? No worries. Non-alcoholic, known as N.A. beers, are the fastest growing part of the industry, and some of them are pretty darn tasty. A couple years ago over in Germany, it started to be a thing, and it's kind of pushed its way across the pond. Here's a list of N.A. beers still full of taste and cheer. First, the Coors Lager. Nice, clean, refreshing but a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of oatiness to it. Beer guru Amy Savona set up a side-by-side -side taste test to compare non-alcoholic beers to their traditional counterparts. Let's try the alcohol one first. Okay. It smells like uh, junior year of college. Go ahead and we'll give it a taste. All right. All right. Okay. Frothy, light. Yeah. Yep. And the non-alcoholic lager. It does smell a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I think the carbonation's very nice. I think they're both a win. Just yeah. depends on your style and what right. you're in the mood for. Next, a Kronbacher Hefeweizen. German Hefeweizens tend to have a banana and clove-like flavor. Smooth, medium body, easy to drink. Definitely refreshing on a hot day. The N.A. comparison. Full sweetness still. Yeah. But not kind of that spiciness that I get from the cloves. Refreshing on the front, but not so much on the back end. So far what I'm realizing is with the non-alcoholic, the flavor escapes quicker. Finally, Amber Beer. We compared N.A. Klosthaler Amber to the San Diego beer, Ballast Point. Stiff competition. So holding both of these up to each other, the Klosthaler is lighter. The beer with booze, easy to drink, toasty, and very hoppy. It's N.A. counterpart. This one actually holds its flavor longer than the others, in my opinion. I think so, too. Hang out without the hangover. It's What's Trending.